Welcome back to Sick Drummer's lesson and advice with yours truly, Cameron Flurry. In this video, we're gonna go over 10 essential items that every drummer should have on tour. Over the years of gigging and touring, there's been a few things that I've missed and haven't brought on tour. So the first one that's essential for the touring drummer or the gigging drummer is the drum rug. Now, this is a very important part. If you don't have a drum rug or you forgot yours and nobody else at the venue has one, you're out of luck. If you don't got a rug, your bass drum is going to start creeping up quite a bit and we all know this as drummers, how annoying that can be. You don't play your parts as confidently and as solid, so bring a drum rug. So in case you already haven't guessed it, a flashlight is very important because all the stages you play on are dark, have cables all over the place, and it poses a tripping hazard. Why would you want to injure yourself when you're only on the first gig? Item number three are earplugs. These are very important before you even go on stage. It's nice to not be all worn out before you play from the sound and all the loud noises. And to boot, it drowns out all the fucking shitty bands. Now unless you're a pussy and you don't hit your drums like a man, these will not pertain to you. But item number four is... Drum skins. If your skins are starting to look like this, then maybe it's time to put a new one on. I'm sure the sound guy would appreciate if you did, and I'm pretty sure your other band members wouldn't mind either. It actually goes quite a distance if you replace your heads, you get a nice sound on your drums. So, take this into consideration. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Sick Drummer channel and turn that notification bell on so that you know when somebody uploads a video on this channel. Next up on this list is item number five, the in-ear monitors. Now, these here are the Shure SE215s. I've been playing with these for a few years now. They're great for live use. You can just plug them into your mixer and you can hear the guitars, you can hear the vocals or whatever you want to hear. And um, also if you're playing with a metronome or a click track, these things are a lifesaver. Keeps it tight with the band and it makes a great performance. Cymbal felts, Allen keys, hi-hat clutch. Item number six, miscellaneous extra items that you should have with you. Obviously a hi-hat clutch because a lot of times this thing will go loose on the threads and you are not going to have a good time. Allen keys for your pedals or any other things that have set screws like your rack. These are great to keep those tight throughout your hard hitting performances. Sometimes I'll use cymbal felts and other times I'll use these things here called sim pads. They're pretty cool. Item number seven, duct tape. To keep your vocalist who sings out a key quiet. But in all seriousness, drum uses for duct tape are immense. You can keep your cables together. You can, well, if the sound guy thinks your snare sounds like crap, put a piece on there and kind of dent in the sound. Duct tape is pretty well universal and a handyman's secret weapon. Now drummers, we all go through this almost on a daily occurrence, especially when you're on the road. This is very important. Actually, now that I remind myself, where did I put my drum key? Hey man, you got a drum key? The drum key. The drum key is great for tuning up heads if you can find it and is a very essential tour item. Get yourself a few of these in case you do misplace one. Uh, if you're traveling town to town every night, it is very easy to accidentally misplace it. May I also suggest to get yourself one of these, a carabiner, and you could just basically put this on a ring, hook it on there, like so, and then put it on your belt loop. Man, go change your socks. Dude, your shorts reek. Those are a couple sentences I've always heard on tour. And that brings me to this next item, item number nine. Hygiene. Things like deodorant, toothpaste and a toothbrush, maybe an extra t-shirt for after you play when you're dripping sweat, or a towel. Actually, maybe you should even have your own stage clothes because after you get done playing drums, nobody wants to stand near you. Let's admit that. Last but not least, and the very most important thing a drummer needs on tour, or just in general, drumsticks. Nobody likes a drummer who doesn't have their own sticks. Hey man, you got any sticks? I forgot mine. 
Well, that just doesn't look good, and it's not very professional for a drummer to not have his own drumsticks. Item number 10, drumsticks. So this here is my stick bag. It holds about like 10 to 12 pairs, and it's got um, little retractable and adjustable clips here. I don't know if you can see that. And you can just put those on the logs on your toms, and yeah, you can just mount it there, and then if you drop a stick or you lose one while you're playing, you can just quickly grab one out of the bag and keep playing the song as if nobody noticed you drop a drumstick like a fool. Thanks so much for watching and those are my 10 essential items that allow me to be a touring musician and hopefully you guys like what I said here. If you have anything to add or if you guys have compiled your own list of essential items that you need on the road as a touring drummer, please post it in the comments below and uh, I, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. So thanks a lot for checking in and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Sick Drummer channel and turn that notification bell on so that you know when somebody uploads a video on this channel.